And now we're going to take a remote snapshot. We're going to log in as our administrative user. We're going to type in our password. We're going to use our LDAP server. And we're logged in as the system administrator. First, to take a remote snapshot, let's look at the remote provider. The remote provider is the mechanism so that the Datera system understands where to send the remote snapshot. In this case, we've configured this so that it is using the local system. This is for demonstration purposes. If we look at the edit button, we can see that we can have a generic S3 object store. If we create a new one, you can see that we have the choices of a Google Cloud, an S3 object store, or the AWS S3. In this case, our existing one is based on a local object store. You can see we have a number of existing remote snapshots today. So let's create another one. We're going to navigate to a Deterra instance. We'll pick one that has some data. You can see here that we have a VMware infrastructure. Uh, this VMware infrastructure has a little bit of data in it. And we're going to go ahead and choose the Take Snapshot button from the user interface. We're going to use the remote provider. We're going to tell it to use the configured remote provider and press the Submit button. So now that action has been kicked off, it does take time for the system to process and for the data to be transferred. We can refresh this here. And you can see that it's currently in the unavailable state as we execute the backup. If we look under the remote provider, now that we've executed this, we can see that that is now in status. And if we look at the user event messages, you can see that we have a post to the snapshots and we can even view the request. And here you can see the API request to take a remote snapshot with this provider. And that's how remote snapshots work in Deterra. Learn more about how Deterra brings the software-defined revolution to enterprise storage at deterra.io and contact Deterra for a free consultation.